So I thought to myself, you know, I know a guy in the UK, my buddy Matt, and I know a guy in Australia, my buddy Luke. So I decided to give him a call. And let me tell you a little story. Actually, I won't tell you about it. I'll just show you what happened. And here we go. Hey Mac, how's it going? Yeah, good. Fantastic. All right, uh, just doing a time check. About what time is it where you are? 2103, so three minutes past nine. Three minutes past nine. Uh, here, what, what's your location, sir? now down mate it is it's just in the distance it's just over the hill but you see just about in the distance there all right that's all awesome. see it beautiful sunset so it's just about over the hill but you can make the rays that still yep. and, and behind me you the darkness that's awesome here, I'm uh, in Tacoma, Washington right now. Check it. I got the Tacoma Dome back behind me in the distance. And then you That's can it. see the uh, Tacoma skyline back here over the city. So that's where I'm at, and we're looking at the same sun. That's fantastic. All right. Uh, well, I appreciate you participating in this project. And uh, Hi, boys. Hey. That's fine. Thank you, sir. You have a fantastic night. I'll see you soon. See you later. Uh, stay fine. My man, Luke. How's it going? Yep. Fantastic, sir. Uh, here, about what time is it? Uh, six oh six, a.m. Six oh six a.m. And what's your location, sir? I am in a small town called Villawila in central Queensland, Australia. I'm standing outside the Calloid Valley Lions Park, on um, the corner of the Dawson Highway and Cooper Street. Awesome. That's fantastic. All right. So that's the time, location. Yeah. And you can and see the sun out there. It's about sun, so sunrise. The sun I'm in a bit of a valley, but the sun's just coming up uh, over to the... I, from memory, I think it's about northeast, about 60 degrees. Uh, that's just off the top of my head, but... <laughs> <laughs> All good. All right. Uh, sounds good. I am currently in Tacoma, Washington. Got the sun right above my head right here, as you can see. I got the Tacoma skyline in my background over here, as you can see also, uh, and the world famous Tacoma Dome in the distance. So that's my location. So yeah, man, uh, I'd like to thank you for your participation in this project. Uh, I'll talk to you a little bit later, buddy. No worries. Notice the nice, nice uh, shadow on the moon up there behind me, also. Oh, you got the moon too. That's sick. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. All right, take care. All Talk right, soon. Luke. Stay flat. You too. Yes, sir. Always. All right. Later. Editor's note: Graphical representation provided to us by the trusted scientific community always shows half the Earth receiving light from the sun which on a globe earth that rotates approximately every 24 hours, we should expect there to be a definitive 12 hour allowance for all points on the earth that receive the sun's light. You just saw the sun at 9.03 p.m. and 6.03 a.m. This signifies a 15 hour period of illumination which is not consistent with the heliocentric model. So you were able to see right there in that video that the sun was visible from the west coast of the UK 
in Yorkshire, England, you were able to see that the sun was rising on the east coast of Queensland, Australia. You were able to see that the sun was above my head here in Tacoma at 1.03 in the afternoon. Now I want to ask you, do you believe that's possible on a globe? I mean, the sun should have been hidden behind the curvature on one of these places, right? It shouldn't have been visible in all three places at the same time. But it was. <laughs>